a just a bit of encouragement for those of you that are praying for a loved one's salvation, maybe your spouse or a brother or sister or a friend. Um, so many times it seems in human minds that maybe someone that is friendly to Christianity, that is maybe going to church or that has grew up in church but just doesn't believe, um, is easier would be easier to save than someone that is absolutely hateful to God and uh, or doesn't uh, I'm just just an enemy of the gospel. And in human minds, you know, someone that will listen about Christianity and and is it's easier. You know what I mean? Um, but let me remind you something that God spoke to my heart about in Scripture. Romans talks about we were dead in our sins. When, when, we're, when we were reborn, when we were regenerated, we were dead in our sins. Dead is dead. Ezekiel talks about, let these dry bones live. And, and, and the Lord says, you know, can these dry bones live? And he answers, oh, Lord, you know. He didn't know. He said, Lord, you know. And Lord, the Lord brought those dead bones back to life. And that is a picture of our salvation. Dead is dead. It's no harder to bring someone back from the dead if they were dead three days or if they were dead three years and rotting. Dead is dead. So just a biblical reminder, y'all, don't stop praying for that loved one. Don't stop praying for that person that's on your heart. Even if it seems to us it would be impossible. Because till the Lord dead is dead, and the regeneration is a big miracle, whether they are churched before or they were an enemy of the gospel. Because the Bible says we are all enemies of the gospel. We are all enemies of God till God rebirthed us. So take heart. God bless y'all. And remember to savor your Savior.